I knew I wanted to document both the highs and the lows of my PhD journey, but today was definitely a low. And I don't just mean for me, I mean for an entire generation of PhD students who just got the rug pulled out from under them. Hi, my name is Dara Tringali, and I'm a second year physics PhD student at the University of Colorado Boulder. One of the biggest things that I've been told about grad school up until this point is to find a way to secure myself my own funding. Essentially make it so I'm not dependent on other people to do my PhD. Well, this means applying to fellowships, which are usually done in the first two years of your PhD. The biggest one in this country is the NSF GRFP, or the NSF Graduate Research Fellowship Program. Winning this means securing yourself three years of funding, not just for your PhD, but what it does is it provides you money to do your research and it provides you a stipend yearly to live off of. Well, that is what I have been working on for the last few months, along with so many others. Well, I woke up this morning to a text from my roommate, which was like, oh, hey, the new solicitation or like the requirements for NSF is out. And I was like, oh, awesome. This means I finally can figure out when the actual application is due. Yeah, it's almost October and I didn't even know when the application was due. It's usually due at the end of October and the solicitation is out in like July, but now we're almost at the beginning of October and it wasn't out. So a lot of people have been confused what was happening with that, but they released it today and I was like, awesome. So I clicked on it and I was like, let's see what's going on. And I started reading it and that's where I got to the eligibility section and I saw they made a huge change. Well, there was a small wording change and that said now, first year graduate students in the first year of their graduate degree program with less than one academic year completed in the degree program according to the institution. That is a huge change. Just these two words here are a massive change. What does that mean? That means that second year PhD students are no longer eligible to apply to the fellowship. And this is a huge deal because like, second year PhD students are the bulk of the people who apply to NSF. And why is that so? You can apply to this program when you are an undergrad. You can also apply as a first year or a second year, not an and, a first or second year. And a lot of people who don't aren't able to apply in undergrad or aren't able to get it, don't intentionally don't apply in their first year because they don't think they have a strong enough application or maybe they just haven't found a lab yet that they wanted to research with and someone that's willing to help them make an application. So a lot of people who were able to apply last year intentionally didn't apply to wait until this year to apply. And now, myself included, we are all being blindsided by this change suddenly that we're now no longer eligible to apply. How was I supposed to know this? How was anyone supposed to know this? That last year when I made a decision to not apply to NSF, that this year I wasn't even going to get the chance to at all. This is a huge, sudden, drastic change that NSF has made. The GRFP is the major fellowship in many fields. As I mentioned, it provides you three years of funding in independence. It removes reliance on professors' grants and needing to do endless TA ships. You know how nice it is for some people to not have to TA every semester along with taking two to three classes and needing to do 20 to 40 hours of research a week? That's what this fellowship provides. It provides you an opportunity to fund you, which gives you the freedom to do the research that you want to do. And let me be clear that this fellowship is not fully about the prestige that you get from it. It's nothing to do with that. It provides you, even though it's a modest stipend, still a better stipend than some people are able to get in their PhD programs. Some students can't even live reasonably in their PhD without some kind of external funding. This is their hope that they get something like this. They might be going for their master's, would want to do their PhD, and to them, winning this fellowship is their one opportunity to get the financial resources they need to be able to go for their PhD. So who gets hit hardest by this? Well, obviously any current second year PhD student and any student from smaller programs or schools with less guaranteed funding opportunities and anyone who needs extra time getting their footing in grad school that didn't walk in immediately with a lab that had a project ready for them. And this also screws over any current first year student who is planning on applying to NSF next year because they're not in a lab yet or they don't have enough research experience to make a competitive application application and now they're going to have to rush an application because they're realizing they're not going to have an opportunity in the following year. Myself a second year PhD student along with so many others are pissed today because we waited another year to apply having no clue that we were never going to get that opportunity to do so. And I still recognize that I am personally one of the lucky ones. 
I am a experimental physicist in a big school with very secure funding. So I'm going to be fine, but that doesn't mean I'm not pissed off because there are so many PhD students out there that are way more talented than I am. And they are never going to get that one opportunity to get funding. So if you're someone that's watching this right now and you've been affected by this, is there anything that we can do? Yes, you can call your senators, you can call your representatives, and you can email them too. I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video to do all of that, including a link to a Reddit post for an email template you can use when contacting them. We need to be able to put pressure on NSF and policymakers to bring back second year eligibility, or at least delay it until next year to give all of us who are blindsided by this decision an opportunity to still apply for this fellowship. This isn't just a minor rule change. This is screwing an entire cohort of PhD students a chance to fund their PhD. And for many, this fellowship was the only way to make grad school financially possible. It's a tough day for PhD students out there, and I guess we'll see what happens in the near future. I just wanted to put all this out here so people are aware. Subscribe, I guess, and goodbye.